Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Andreas. Thank you so much for checking out another ICO certification video from CryptoCentral.io. What the ICO certification video is, is a group of cryptocurrency experts such as my friends at CryptoCentral.io and what we do is we go over ICOs, we go over white papers, we review teams, and we discuss with upcoming projects any potential trip ups or flaws in their ICO and we help them to streamline the process in order to get ICO certified. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Genero network, and it is a blockchain 3.0. It is the first Turing complete blockchain storage platform. So in this video, as I said, we're going to be going over the team, the token distribution, and how the tokens are used, and a general overview of what the platform is. So stay tuned, and we'll jump right in. So here we are at the Genero main page, looking at the four founders of the project, Larry Liu, Jason Inch, Waylon Wu, and Andrea Liu. We can take a little look at their profiles and discuss them. Larry is the project leader for Genero. He used to be security engineer for HP in Silicon Valley. He's made a startup such as Sendbloom. He's a graduate from the Northwestern University in the USA, and he created a cross-border wallet for cryptocurrencies in 2015. Jason Inch is a key contributor. He has over 20 years of experience in the technology, executive management, and entrepreneur world. He is a published author, and his most recent book is called China 4.0, and it discusses business in China. Moving on to Waylon, you can see here he is the CTO of Genero Project, the chief technical officer. He was once the core technical member of Maxim Integrated in Silicon Valley. And in 2015, he also co-founded a company called Rum Tech. He's been around Ethereum and making dApps since 2015. And finally, we have Andrea Liu. So she will be the COO, which is the chief operating officer. Her main roles will be for running the day-to-day -day business of the operation from a high level, you know, overseeing marketing development, that sort of thing. She has lots of experience in marketing, which is why she's taken over this portion of the company. And she also was an early adapter and developer for blockchain technologies. So moving on, let's take a look at their business plan and just really quickly, the overview of what the Genero project and blockchain 3.0 is. So the technology revolution that we're seeing now for blockchain 3.0 is moving from cloud to blockchain. And as it says in their business plan, Genero Network is the first Turing complete public chain plus decentralized storage network to provide blockchain developers a one-stop solution to deploy smart contracts and store data in them simultaneously. So what does this mean? Usually with smart contracts, you can do things on the blockchain. And usually with data storage on the blockchain, you can just put stuff on the blockchain and take stuff off. So what they're doing is they're combining both of those. So not only can you store data on the Genero blockchain, you can also create and write smart contracts through decentralized apps to do stuff with the data that you have stored. So no longer will there be a void between doing stuff with data and storing data. On the blockchain 3.0, you'll be able to store and do things with the data that you have on the blockchain. Moving on, let's look at the strategy milestones for the Genero network. Going back to Q1 2016, that's when they proposed the original idea of blockchain 3.0. And in the Q4 of 2016, so about a year ago, they were invited to the CVE Shanghai Film Tech in order to promote blockchain 3.0, the Genero idea. Upcoming will be the launch of the Genero support program, which will be Q4 2017, which is happening now. And a little bit in the future, Q2 2018, they will have their hub launch and the blockchain 3.0 accelerator. And they're hoping that by the beginning of 2020, they will have over 100 apps on the Genero blockchain network. So as you can tell, they put a lot of time and effort into it before now, and they have a very ambitious program moving forward on how to develop and bring value to investors. 
by getting their blockchain and solutions out there and being used in the real world. So now let's talk about the Gennaro pre-sale. And first and foremost, I should say, this sale is not open to US citizens. So we can see from their website, there's three levels of supporters that they have during their pre-sale. You can be a community supporter, which is 10 Ethereum or more, a community benefactor, which is 100 Ethereum or more, and a community partner, which is 500 Ethereum or more. Now, if you do 10 Ethereum or more, one Ethereum will buy 3200 GNX, which is the Gennaro tokens. For the community benefactor, it will be 3350 to one. And the biggest discount for the community partners for 500 Ethereum or more, you will get 3600 GNX to one. So the incentive, as always, is the more that you pledge and the more that you help support the team, you'll get a little better discount and you'll get some more coins. What is very interesting is that they will have a 1, 3, and 5% airdrop on December 31st of GNX tokens also. So for example, if you are a community supporter with 10 Ethereum, you will get 10 Ethereum at 3200 GNX, which is 32,000 GNX tokens. You will then get 1% of that, which would be 0.1 Ethereum worth of tokens at that exchange rate given to you for free via airdrop on December 31st. So now that we've discussed the pre-sale prices, let's discuss the total tokens and how they're gonna be used. There's gonna be a total of 700 million tokens and they're gonna be allocated as follows. The public community will get 85%, so they'll have a few rounds of different contribution periods. And then there's gonna be tokens set aside for no rewards, for example, for the bounty program and then for airdrops. So that'll be 85% of the tokens. 15% of the total tokens will be reserved for the team. 9% of those will be for the four co-founders that we just discussed. And the rest will be for consultants, for law, research, business development, and things of that nature. So now that we've discussed the token sale, the prices, and the breakdown, let's talk about the final section, which will be how the tokens are used. According to their white paper, the GNX token is not a security. It does not offer dividends, shares or profits, or voting rights. They sum it up really nicely, and they say the GNX token is the oxygen that powers the brain and the heart of the Gennaro network. So basically that means anytime anything happens on the Gennaro network, GNX tokens will need to be used in order to power the transactions, to store, to retrieve, to run smart contracts and just have the entire ecosystem work. This is a pure utility token. So how are they gonna create value for these tokens? As we discussed, since you have to use the tokens in all aspects of the Gennaro ecosystem, the value will be that there is a limited supply of the tokens that are available and there's gonna be hundreds of use cases for the platform. So the more people that use them, the more people are going to need to have them, which is gonna have a higher demand on a limited supply. So as this platform grows and more people start using it, the value of the tokens will increase because they need to have them in order to power the entire system. So there you go, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. It was an overview of what the company is, who the team is, what they're trying to do, and some general information about the token sale and how the tokens work. Thank you so much for watching this ICO certification video by CryptoCentral.io. Stay tuned for more videos just like this, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.